And good morning. Good morning, it's 10 o'clock. And I am on the Colder Dale Way. I did want to start at 9, but uh, there you go. That's Leslie for you. And I am ultra pleased. I've got my seat, I've got my tag or two tent, and we've got my Chinese frameless backpack. And my weight, 14 and a half kilo. 14 and a half. I've never gone out so light. <laughs> I'm just beginning to wonder what I've forgotten. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I am not doing the whole way in one hit. I'm doing about 20 miles of it over the weekend. So, do a wild camp tonight. Yeah, we're meant to be 20 miles an hour here. <laughs> yeah, like shit that van is doing. Um, got big Marshall's quarry place up here. I'm in South Arm. And um, not Southern, like I used to call it when we first arrived here. South Arm. Uh, yeah, an, there is an official start, but that's a few miles down the road, so hopefully I'll spot that. Here comes another car. It's a long introduction. Uh, it's really warm. That wind's a little bit chilly, but uh, we'll see how we go. As long as it's rain. Most important thing of all. No rain, please. So I go along here and then I drop down and I climb, there's a lot of up and down. The whole cold railway is about 51 miles apparently, but when you take into account the ups and downs, apparently it's about 57. Anyway, so I thought I'm going to do it in sections, a little really cheeky wild camp tonight. I'm not too sure about the location I've chosen. But uh, anyway, I've just started. I need to crack on. Right, I'm at the sort of top of South Arum. Just giving you a view. I'm going to go down and then climb back up. Still on the roads. I get on the, uh, the path that further down here I connect with. So there's a little bit of on um, this walk going through villages and things like that as well but anyway there you go it's going to be a pretty nice day and there's the old tower over there I don't know if you can see that looks like they've been through here see it on the camera marking the way it's um I know I've walked up that road before I've walked down here before a long time ago so this is telling me ah there's a star there I was gonna say how am I supposed to get through that there's a tiny little gap and how am I supposed to get through that we back back on. Hmm. Oh, it looks like they're rebuilding the stone wall. So if you ever wanted to know I mean, how they get it, well, in the old days they wouldn't have put big concrete slabs underneath it, and then just ordinary bricks in this to level it out, I guess. Then they've started putting the rocks on. Let's put 
some broken glass here. I'm sure these aren't meant to be for stepping on, but just bigger ones that uh, stick out. You're pretty patient doing that, wouldn't you? Worse than doing a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> I just had to take my pack off to get through that. Now I'm just got a little bit of woods to go through, then I've got to cross that road. And I'm heading in that direction, I think. That's yeah, quite pleasant there. Shall I get restrapped in and head off? I've been walking for the tenth watch. Uh, nice. Oh, yeah, I've been walking for 45 minutes, so not that far really. So. I don't think I'll be, I was thinking about the canal basins down there. I was thinking of stopping there for lunch. But I think we might be a bit early. But uh, anyway, it's going to be a very long video. <laughs> well, it's so nice and I'm extremely warm. Even it's a bit early, I decided I'm going to stop and have a cup of tea at the... Uh, Canal Basin, then I head off down that way, I think it's to Gretland, and then I start heading up again to Norland Moor, and then down again, I think, after that, into Ripperton, my uh, destination for the night. We'll see. Well, I needed that cup of tea. Had a chat to Look on that Suzuki about his bike cracks on the roof. Yeah, always something possible for the future. Right, finally off the road. There's tre trees over there. That's where I came down. I had to go along the main road and then back along this way. So now I'm off the main road going up here. And it's really warm. Oh, that's a really old building. What part of it look like there? Must be some kind of uh, public place, not private land. It's got a little plaque around there. Looks like an information board. And you come around here. And look at this. All these picture tables. Isn't that lovely? North Dean Wood. Community excavation. Become an archaeologist and how excavate a charcoal burning platform. Yeah. Well, I've never been up this side. I don't come over this side um, very often. I've never been up here. So, there you go. Exploring my local area. Well, this place is steep. Winding me way right around and up and Believe it or not, there's no markers. Interesting, isn't it? And there was one cut through that was part of it. And there was no marker. And uh, it just looked like it was, you go up and join a road that run down behind it, houses. But there was only one way in. All the other roads were dead ends. So, I keep my map open all the time at the moment. Right, found a seat. I just sit here, have my lunch, and look out over the sewage works. <laughs> Canal runs down there. I've walked past them before. You see, you can see some. I don't know what's going on there, it's caravans or something down there. Oh, what a nice day. 
Anyway, it's time to eat and lighten my pack. So today's lunch is olives, tuna, and cheese. I've got some grated cheese at the bottom there. A little bumblebee flying about. To Clothmore Bridge. That away. Gosh, look at that birch bark just sitting there. Never uh, tried uh, doing fires, but uh, it's just asking to be collected, isn't it? That poor tree there, I don't know what happened to that one. There you go. Okay, to the right of me, I've been on a very steady climb. So I'll be puffing and panting a bit. It's making me really warm. I'm regretting my clothing choice at the moment. Anyway, if you can see at the background, uh, past those, the housing estate. See if I can zoom it up there. Beast of a building. It used to be Halifax. It's now Lloyd's. I used to work there. 19 years ago. <laughs> this still is a foul taste of your mouth. I did insurance in that building, mainly. Um, I transferred up here from London. I didn't do insurance in London, I did mortgage areas. But, uh, and this is meant to be on this side, Gretland Moor. So, another style to climb. I don't think I'm that far off Norland Moor actually. I'll have a break there and then I'll be hopefully a few more miles to um, Rippenden. Oh. Anyway, yes, <laughs> oh Halifax got a bit, bit too big for its boots, caused one of our biggest uh, crises didn't it? More trick point about 285 meters. Oh, so that's Knoll and Moor. I mean, it's not that big, but it seems that when you're walking across it, <laughs> it's all this is uh, very sandy actually. I guess they put that on, I don't know, as opposed to peaty. It's probably peat underneath, they probably put it on to help. I don't know. But yeah, there's some, and there's some gullies just over there on the moor. Can, can't really tell from here. And that's the drag point. And a nice little seat. I shall rest me tush for five minutes. Okay. I don't know if you can see that down there in the valley, that's Ripperton, I think. And the place I've picked out the camp. to veer off the path a bit and go directly down to the river and walk along the river a bit and see if I can find another place to camp that uh, I won't feel so conspicuous about putting a torch on. I wonder what that is. Right, it's for nearly four o'clock and I've done nearly eight miles. <laughs> doesn't seem like much, but um, coming down from Norland, it was quite steep actually. So I've, met, I've got got down to the river, but I don't know if you can see there's like there are little paths and things everywhere, and uh, there's one across the other side of the river as well, and it's just like. There's no flat places under cover near water. And I probably could have got flat, something flat coming down, but I haven't got any water. So, um, 
some dog walk is probably going to get a surprise in the morning. <laughs> now I'm just going to set up late and um, hopefully pack up early. But uh, I'm knackered, absolutely knackered. Got really warm today. I had my merino and fleece on. And when you stopped, it was a bit cool. Um, time to start wearing something cooler, some lighter layers. Anyway, so I shall have a cup of tea. I need to get some water. And um, so I shall just set up. It's only four o'clock. Yeah, time I get water, I'll set my little camp up with my stool and etc etc, get my cooker out, boil some water up and then I'll get ready to set my tent up later. I mean up there there's a main road and there's houses across on the other side of the road. <laughs> it's just awful. Oh it's just one night. Right, that's river water. So I'm just going to let it boil for a bit. Let it let boil water boil for two minutes to uh, actually kill everything. So I shall do that. I shall make a nice cup of tea. Oh, it's a warm day today. I haven't drunk enough. Right, it's my dehydrated mushrooms and cauliflower. Put some onion in there as well, I think. And I know I put some hard cheese just to make it a bit more tasty. Anyway, I shall bang that in that hot water and let it soak for a while because it's still a bit early for tea. Let's get it ready for heating up. So, this is where I'll be setting up. I sort of spread myself all out the ready, but I'm not putting the tent up yet. There's a walkway across the river. It's not even marked on the map, which is annoying. Because if I'd seen that, I wouldn't have come down here. A lot of dog walkers around, but anyway, I'm close to the river. Can't quite get down to it from there. There's a little thing over there I can go down, down to it, get some water. Just been sitting here drinking tea. Oh, rehydrating. My left knee's a bit stiff. Feet are numb and I'm getting cold. I've got my jacket on now and my gloves. It's a real chill in the air. So just by this tree here I can get down. Road up there. Never mind. I'm not walking any further today. <laughs> Is it that one? No, it's that one. It's too far. Yeah, I'll get down by that tree. There's this little stump there that uses a hand lever. Get some water down there. I'll put some. Um, Water purification tablets in, the, in it as well. Just boiling it. It's now uh, six o'clock. There's two paths up there at the hill. Um, I've just put me dinner on slow to heat up and cook. Uh, I've got my jacket on, got my gloves on. It's, it's cold, I'm getting cold. I want to get inside my tent. But there are millions of goddamn dogs around here. And there's a path over there that's not even on the bloody OS map. Anyway, it'll be fun. Another half hour, I think, is official sunset, so I'll put my tent up closer to then if I don't see anyone else looking. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right, it's now about eight o'clock. I 
we've uh, moved inside the tent. And uh, I'm trying not to put the torch on very often. <laughs> and uh, I've had my tea. Wasn't that great? I did it. I made it myself with dehydrated vegetables and that. And I put a, a Polish smoked sausage with it. So uh, I don't think I'll bother be making one of those again. And. Uh, Quite a bit of tea, so I'm no doubt I'll be up in the middle of the night. I'm going to try and uh, hit the sack early, so I can get an early start, because I'm sure there'll be lots of dog walkers out in the morning. Um, what else? Uh, was there anything else? Can't think of anything else. Well, if anything happens. I will sign off. Might just listen to a little bit of music. Get inside my sleeping bag. It's about six, six and a half degrees inside the tent. And uh, I'm just glad it wasn't raining. I didn't set my tent up till. No, just before seven. Yeah, only an hour ago. So. Because there's still people wondering about. <laughs> uh, such is life. Anyway, over and out for now.